better if you if you don't take no for an answer. And when, when we went to our 50s, my 50s reunion, Sally and the girls would come up and talk. Dan, Danny didn't take no for an answer. And I didn't. Or as they would say in this part of the world, I didn't. Because they're illiterate up here. I didn't. You've got to, it comes up later. You've got a K-N-O-W, when to say N-O. Steve Jobs said, said, say no a thousand times. That was his way of saying it. But you won't, I mean, you won't have a problem. And now people are used to, and the reason why deals are getting done so much quicker, not as quick as they could be, and people have taken their foot off the accelerator because it's so easy, is that you can do it all on Skype and uh, it's, 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 it's pathetic. Now we have kids buying companies, in, and I don't recommend this, without even seeing the merchandise. I, uh, that's, uh, I think that's gonna end in tears. I know, I, I know it's gonna end in tears. We have guys, uh, you know, buying shit, put boards together on, uh, on uh, Zoom fuck, uh, the bank, everybody, because now, and now that they're used to it, even though, even though I don't want Corona to go away, if Corona goes away, they're used to it now. It's like, once the girl uh, experiences rough sex, it's hard to turn her back. Thank God. Thanks God. And when the nuns, well, I've got a lot of nuns that are friends, whenever, I'm, that are not in this room, but sat, and they're always going like this, when I'm saying bad things, you know, they wear out their fucking arm, you know, doing the sign of the cross, you know? the. Uh, but they love it, me. Not just because I give them money. I like it. But I pretend. I blow smoke at my own ass, pretending that if I didn't support the church as much as I do. Sally says, "Why always the Catholic church? She's not Catholic. Because they got their hand up my ass, honey. I mean, I'm a one. Uh, you know, I, that's just self-esteem is built the first seven or eight years of life. Who had me? The fucking church." And I never, I was abused like this, but not sexually, but beaten up. But, um, and in, in the hood, in the, the Mexican part of the hood, I mean, Catholic Church rules. I mean, that's it. And I, the little church I went to St. Anne's, which is still there. And, uh, you know, I taught catechism on, oh God, and I was uh, such a little goody fucking Catholic two shoes. But then I discovered girls. And the world changed for me. I then realized, well, maybe this priest thing ain't such a fucking good idea. What celibacy mean again, uh, Father? I forget, there's a cute way he described it. But it was the end of the world, more or less. It, it was the Armageddon of life. Sex out of wedlock. But I, I'm past that now, quite a bit now, several decades. Other question about, the, now, he, another reason we use this kid, and I want to thank him, he's been very successful. He's just a regular, he was a student. He was a student, little graduate student, you know, decided, you know, I can do this and get, finish my master's. Question, yeah. If he put it into his affirmation, I'm gonna do my first date in say a month, like put a date on it? Correct. No, as soon as humanly possible, fast. Don't put a timeline on it. No. As fast as humanly possible. When we talk about goals and affirmations, uh, I'll show you the right way to say it. Um, but he didn't know, he never sold shit, he doesn't know. He doesn't know people lie to you. You know, when people say that I got four other offers, they're lying. He hadn't been fucked enough, both physically and emotionally. He lived in a little, uh, Belgium is like Disneyland. Fairyland up there. They would know hard times if it bit him in the ass. Yes, sir. Um, he talked about delegating management of people. Correct. To other people, would you recommend doing that? Absolutely. 95% of your time as the founder should be spent on looking for deals and raising money. Looking for money.
Just like you can never have too much sex, you can never, never have too much money. Yes, sir. Uh, pertaining to deal flow, did he acquire any of those businesses with help from his board? Like, did they give him any leads? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Okay. We talk about the board the day after tomorrow, but I'll answer the question now. Another thing that we figured out, or I figured out, which I know there have been countless studies about this, the sooner the answer to the question, the higher the probability that you retain it. Okay. In the beginning, 28 years ago, all the questions came in the last day and a half. You store up your fucking questions. Okay. And so we've progressed and now I answer the questions, even though it takes me all out of sync from the fucking rest of the seminar, I answer the questions now. When you get these world-class people, they're not gonna lift their skirt up or give you their Rolodex. They used to call it a Rolodex. Day one. That's not gonna happen. You, your line of bullshit was good enough to hook them, but for them to give you, you the 40 years of career that you might fuck up, it's gonna take time. After you do a deal or two, I mean, all of a sudden you got more fucking leads than you can beat off of the fucking uh, baseball bat. Um, and the... Um, because now they, they figure at the twilight of their life, the twilight of their career, <clears throat> they don't want to be embarrassed. That's universal no matter what ethnicity. They don't want to be embarrassed.